Fix computers and um, I've got a pretty straightforward one today it's um, a uh, LCD panel replacement uh, this one's a uh, this one's a doozy I've, when this one came to the shop I literally was quite gobsmacked at the state it's in God knows what happened to it um, at any rate um, this video will apply to anyone who's got either a smash screen like this or just simply cracked or fractured or impact or whatever um, this laptop is going to be fairly straightforward um, there's two types you can come at this repair from. Um, on a laptop like this where the hinges are raised, uh, we can actually replace this, the display panel without having to take the display assembly off of the laptop. This makes it a lot quicker and easier. If the laptop has hinges that are um, recessed on the back, so, it's, so the screen opens behind the body, if you see what I mean, um, you usually have to take off the display assembly. Sometimes you can get the screwdriver down in the gap, but usually this, these screws at the bottom Will be behind and you won't be get you won't be able to get onto them. So long and the short of it, on this one we're just going to take the front off, take the panel out, put the replacement one in, and we should be done. So uh, uh, we'll start off by removing the screws around the panel. Um, these rubber grommets will just pull off with a fingernail or get a screwdriver under them. Um, try not to uh, um, try to keep them um, face side up so the uh, glue doesn't get ruined, and that'll make them easier to put on. Uh, usually they will go straight back on first time, but now and then you do have to uh, re-glue them. Um, if you're going to re-glue them, my method for that is to use double-sided tape. You can get tissue-thick double-sided tape from eBay for nothing, so uh, uh, that's my usual method. Right, so with those off, we'll just remove these screws and then we can take off the actual bezel. To remove the bezel, the easiest way, um, this will just pull off, there'll be clips all around the edge. Uh, my method is just to get my fingernails out under the inside edge of the screen and pull it straight outwards, like that. Uh, this will usually get you something to start off with. Now you don't want to pull it off directly because these will snap at the drop of a hat if you're not careful. So you just want to very carefully just put it around the edge and just gently wiggle it off like so. And it will usually come off with relative ease like this one is. Since the uh, screen is already broken, we don't have to worry about watching out for that, but take a bit of care, and that's that. So, next thing we need to do, watch out for this back panel, sometimes it will just fall away, sometimes it won't, it depends on the design of the laptop. Um, if you want to, you can remove the screws at the bottom of the hinges here, and this will usually fall backwards. But in this instance, you can normally get your screwdriver onto the edges of the support hinge and that will let you remove everything without having to take much of it apart. So I'm just going to take out the screws down both sides of the panel. Okay. Now uh, that panel will just come straight out now and it'll be attached. Um, on older laptops it's attached at the top um, and on newer laptops it's at the bottom. Um, the difference is the newer laptops have LED backlights on them which change the design whereas the older laptops use a fluorescent backlight which is basically the same as a strip light and that has um, uh, that will have two cables going to it. You'll have the display cable which will go to the top then there'll be a two pin power cable to the backlight that will be down at the bottom. Um, now these, these very rarely have locking connectors on but they do have tape attaching them so um, you can either pull the tape off or just to make sure that I don't damage the cable in any way I'm usually inclined just to very carefully cut across the tape There we 
go. One ruined panel. I'm just going to wipe away. You don't usually get a lot of broken glass from panels, but this one is uh, so far gone that there's uh, tiny little shards everywhere on this laptop. Your replacement panel, you can find these on eBay, and they're usually fairly universal fit. Again, you just got to make sure it's the right size and aspect ratio. I'm just going to lay that down on the base of the laptop, and then I can plug this in. And at that point, we're just going to reverse the process. Uh, one thing to watch out for, if the laptop has been dropped, um, you want to be careful that these hinge supports are not bent, because uh, um, if you try and screw it in while they're bent, you may, oh, well, I've snapped panels before doing that, suffice to say, so uh, if they're, just check that they're straight, and if they're not straight, you can usually just bend them back into shape by hand, although you may have to remove all the hinges to do so, but it's not something I'm going to cover here. Okay, uh, at this point I usually advise attempting to turn the laptop on if you have power. Um, I don't have power so I'm not going to bother, but uh, if you turn it on now and just make sure the screen works, that might just save you from having to take the whole thing apart again if the wire's not in properly. Um, but these laptops are pretty straightforward so you can usually run the risk. So this bezel is going to go back on just literally by pushing it back into place. I'm just going to go, I'll keep going round and round until I think it's done properly. Then put these screws back in. And there we have it. Done and done.